Yeah. yeah. But now look, what? you can have a look in, in here. Look. No, no, no. I don't Help me I frame it actually. Am I in the frame? Yeah, you are, you are there. Is he cutting my head off? Mind if I ask what you're up to today? Just taking pictures, mate. Oh, no, that's Have you already been approached already then today? Or yeah, a couple anyone... of times, yeah. Hey guys. <laughs> we got. All right, let's try this Fuji. I really like this frame. <clears throat> right, let's move on. Um, blue hour time, pretty much. Um, sunset, but because we're in Canary Wharf, the buildings are just blocking the light. So we'll see what we get. I never really tested this in low light. Um, so yeah, I'll be interested to see how it does. But yeah, I have it set to 200 ISO, a bit like you would set a film camera. And then I'm just gonna move around the shutter speed depending on what I'm shooting. Um, and uh, I'm F2, it's got a ring on top so you can choose your aperture. I'm gonna head towards the station because I feel like we're gonna get a lot more people. Right, 250, if we're doing street, it's probably not gonna be enough. The cool thing about this camera is that you can pick pretty much a, a filter to have on it. And um, the camera will give you two options. One is in RAW, and the other one will be with the preset that you selected in the camera. At the moment, we're just shooting RAW, but I'm gonna change it so that we can have a look at the different ones. See, it's called film simulation. If you hit that, that's standard, vivid. That's the uh, classic chrome. I really like the classic chrome. It's kind of bluish, goes into blues and yeah, it's pretty cool. So let's pick that and uh, it will give us both images. It will give us one row and the other one will be shot with the preset. All right, let's find some people. The main reason why I bought this camera is because, as you can probably see, it's really small. I was kind of getting fed up of carrying my bag around because it's just getting heavier and heavier each time I buy something. So I kind of wanted to just have a running gun sort of camera that I could bring everywhere because if it kind of you could put it in your pocket and have no problems with that but is it good enough i don't think I, I don't feel confident of i don't think comfortable using these as a oh it's pretty windy as a main camera but for you know just a day out shooting i think it's pretty cool Let's see some uh, depth of field. This is a F2. Interesting to see what it looks like. See, because it's a 35 mil, if you're trying to do street photography, you have to get pretty close to your subject, which sometimes might be annoying, but you know, it just gets you to kind of move in forward and sort of like push for your frame. Um, it's not like that you can sit back and just shoot it because 35 is pretty wide for street photography. So it's not an 85. I'm just going crazy and just shooting 
anything this is going to be pretty cool nice that was a cool shot love the hat yeah just i'm gonna go pretty quick just have fun with it i don't want to think about the shot too much just run and gun pretty cool shot but I need to get it framed so it fills the whole frame otherwise that just doesn't have the effect that I want uh, there we go might have to crop it yeah that was cool I do like it just because it's so simple to use the one thing that I'd say you know you need to get used to when you start using this is that there's not many dials here and woo, that's noisy not many dials on the fingers it's more like you're relying on this wheel to do everything Nice light over there. Act like you're taking pictures of something else and then just get the shot. You know, if you feel awkward taking pictures of people. Ah. That's a cool shot, that's cool light. be nice to just have one person in there just gonna put up the ISO a bit put it at 400 just so I can push the shutter speed a bit more actually I'm gonna push it to 800 it'll be interesting to see how we turn that off come on come on there we go 500 shutter speed come on cool subject give me one She's in. there we go nice yeah that was cool so this is the thing we went from a, a really dark environment to now shooting into the light so if you want shadows i'm gonna just push the iso that's cool what if we get low oh, i need a subject i saw a guy was seeing that yeah Yeah, I feel like this is the perfect light for this camera. Just creamy as sunset. It's a nice frame. See, struggling to focus on this on this light I think it's because of the backlight it's just hunting like crazy let's try and give it a bit more more light no nah, still nothing oh there we go no nah. as you can see the camera is just there we go hunting a bit with backlighting you know you can have the shutter speed 
in auto mode so that auto so it'll just pick your shutter speed and then say you just leave it at so like this situation i'll have it at 400 iso or 400 just to have a slightly faster shutter speed because otherwise you end up with see this is where i wish i had a, a wider lens because you could get the whole building And you know you can use the exposure compensation dial to just you know make it darker if you want oh that's a cool shot oh it was a cool shot Missed it. I need to get used to this doll exposure compensation to the exposure compensation dial is something that I don't normally use and you know for me it's automatically I go to the wheel which I've got set to ISO on the Sony but it just doesn't work on this one so to be honest it makes things a lot easier to have it on the exposure compensation yeah that's a cool shot real nice Let's see if we can get a framing. Let's make it a bit darker. Very cool. That's a cool shot if I can get it. Nope. Ah. It's got a bit of a, a lag, you know, when like you go and hit the shutter is not instant. We got this cool guy smoking. Nice. Oh. Had his eyes closed. Now we're getting into pretty dark situations. Oh, this guy's cool. See that last shot because I had in automatic. Oh my god. Oops, she's upset. Yeah, on the last shot, because I had it on automatic shutter speed, uh, it picked a shutter speed that wasn't good for what I was trying to do, because um, obviously there was a lot of light. So I much prefer sometimes to have it at like 500 ISO and then play around with the shutter speed or ISO. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it at 500 just so I can get a sharp focus. So I shut sharp frame every time.
was cool. Also, being so small, it kind of doesn't get in the way. You know, if even if people see you taking pictures of them, it's not a massive camera in their face. So most of the time, let, they let it go, and it's not big deal. Yeah, oh, go left, go left. Nice. These are pretty cool perspective. Yes, get in there, perfect. Yeah, the other thing I miss is a bit of touch screen. It would have been a lot quicker. He does have a joystick, which does make things easier, but he's imperfect. So yeah, oh, that's beautiful, look at that. Yeah. I'm getting a bit lazy with locations. I shoot in Canary Wharf pretty much every time I shoot a POV. But it'll be interesting over time to see the different pictures I got from different days, different cameras. You know, it's like almost to see how the camera makes you shoot. Let's have a look. At the moment I'm at 650 ISO shutter speed a thousand just to get the right speed. Batman. I love Canary Wharf, everyone is so suspicious about what you do. There's a guy following me at the moment. Oh, he wasn't following me. Maybe he was, who knows? He decided to turn around. <sighs> That's a cool frame.
do I see? What do I see? To today, just taking pictures, mate. Oh, nice no, guy. Have you already been approached already then today, or yeah, a couple anyone... of times? Yeah. Okay, because uh, <laughs> I know that there's uh, around here doing the pictures of the area, and I know yeah, you guys yeah. have like some permission. Do you mind if I just have a look to see what you're up to today? Is that yeah, right? man, it's just like pictures up. No, that's fine. That's fine. It's good actually quality. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Like, I'm testing out the camera pretty much. Yeah, because it's like uh, I normally shoot with a much bigger camera, and yeah. this is more like a smaller one. I was going to say, put it in your pocket. That's very old school look. I yeah, but like it's that. actually modern. Yeah, yeah, you got I modern technology, decent. and it looks pretty cool. Sorry, I do a bit of photography you shoot myself, yourself, yeah? but I'm a Nikon man. And oh, really? Do you know what? I used to be Fujifilm okay. when I like very first started, but not as what made you switch to uh, to Nikon? A bit more do you quality, know what? yeah. Bit quality, I think, because it was a at the time. Correct. We are going back some years ago. I've still got the camera now. Uh -huh. It's a 22 megapixel at the time of Nikon D2 uh, D3 200. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, that was the one I, I started with. That. Uh, did you? As my first camera. Oh, yeah. I love it. Like, and also the lenses are cheaper than. Um, yeah. Canon. Canon, yeah. So, and it can have the multitude of which lens you want to no, use. For sure. so. To be honest, it's a good time to buy a Nikon because not many people want it. So, like, if yeah. you if you're in for a bargain for a good lens and stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man. What do you normally shoot? Do you know me personally? It's mine's like a scenery, uh -huh. um, landscape yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. I'm really. I tried weddings. I did a couple of them, but. It's intense, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, just, just a, <laughs> a bit, bit of pressure. Yeah, yeah. and are you sitting there editing it to oh, like two man. in the morning. Well, I use Lightroom Five. I, I'm pretty sure there's probably a better program out there now. Yeah, but that was the one I always use. Yeah, just, Lightroom is the same, but just yeah, progressed. Yeah, and oh, uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot better now. Oh, they mix it. They made it a bit more into like similar to Photoshop. You can do a oh, lot really? of stuff on Lightroom now. Yeah, that you could only have done on Photoshop before. Oh wow! Yeah, like masking and stuff. And yeah, they use AI technology to just like that's pretty mask it, yeah because i was going to look into going to the, uh, the photoshop side of things because obviously you can do a lot. so much yes yeah, so and much. it was it was to be fair it's putting my pictures to shame to just to a degree i look for more like, like funny enough the second Back. picture you just flagged up which like, one was beautiful it? with the clarity and oh, the, the, the taxi the, oh. uh, it was the female just the that. oh that yeah just the fantastic like just crisp yeah man and and also this camera what it does is fuji is famous for their like um colors you know on okay, film yeah so what they've done on this they put some like sort of preset on yeah. the camera and when you shoot you shoot on on those presets but it yeah. also gives you a raw image oh, wow. so you can either just take the image as it is with yeah. the fuji colors or you can you know put your spin on them put the colors yourself and which camera is this this is uh, the fuji x100f X one... there's a new one out which is the five yeah uh, but you can pick this up pretty cheap on ebay well cheap like five six hundred pound it's not bad it's yeah it's not bad at all and like you know it's for weekend camera you just literally bring it anywhere it's so small and light no honestly Have it a looks... feel. thank you that is really and nice. And it looks beautiful, you know? You yeah. almost want to take pictures of the camera. I love that feel as yeah. well. It just like, it, it is an old school sort yeah, of. Yeah, nice. And oh, look, it. even the dials and stuff on a, on a new camera, you'll have everything here. Yeah. But on this one, you do everything on this so dial. The and then you this. push it. All right. Yeah, you pull it, and this is your ISO. Oh, okay, and yes. And then you push yes. it down, and this is your shutter speed. Oh, fantastic. Or you can have it all in automatic and just let the camera do its job. But, you know, sometimes you're just trying to do a slow yeah. motion or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, but it's a bit slow because everything is on this dial. I really like it. But that. you know, it just brings back the sort of like yeah, um, I really camera. Because like that. that's totally different to the Nikon. The Nikon you have to change through yeah. like obviously then the shutter speed and go back yeah, to the... Yeah. I, that's fantastic. Yeah, that but to be fantastic. honest, being a, it's more like a street photography camera. Yeah. Um, you can, you know, set your ISO to being automatic and just you worry about the, the shutter speed. Yeah, yeah. And then it's just pretty simple to change. Like, you only got to do is this. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, it's I cool, love man. that. I'm going to look into that. Yeah, My name is Richard. Sorry. Thank Andrea, you so much. Andrea, man. Nice to Andrea, meet you. Man. Lovely to I'll meet you. I'll see you soon. Thank see you around. Thank you. Thank you, mate. Oh, I'm going to get run away. Such a nice guy. He's a Nikon man, so I don't know how I feel about it, but maybe we switched him to, to Fuji slightly better. 
but yeah, let's get on. Let's get some more shots. Do you mind if I take a picture of you, mate? You look sick. There we go. Nice. Have a good day, man. Now thinking about it, all right, let's have it in the comments below. Do you think that guy stopped to have a look at the camera or yeah. he actually wanted to check if I had a permit? I have a feeling that he wanted to ask me about the camera more than anything. Let's have it in the comments. What do you think? Did he want to talk cameras or did he want to stop me taking pictures? I like this frame. Pretty cool with this piece of wood. Let's have him in the middle. Boom. That's cool. That's a cool shot. Someone else walking into the frame. Ah. Nice. Yeah, that's a cool shot. Let's get into it. We've got the, we've got the phones. Hey guys. Oh. We got, Hello. Have you got any permit for... We've just spoken to your colleagues and they radio through and said, oh yeah, we're just doing a personal thing. Thank you. Hi guys. <laughs> yeah, it's it's <laughs> ridiculous. Just have a quick look in case somebody calls a missing phone. <laughs> Like, well, there was a bloke with, a, with six uh, straps of like a wood. Like this one? Yeah, 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 that's the last one. That's the wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. I just broke one like that. I did. Oh, really? oh. Yeah. Sorry, man. She's single. We always have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, have a good day. Uh, yeah. Bye. Now look, you can have a look in in here. Look. Help me frame it, actually. Am I in the frame? Yeah, you are, you are there. Is he cutting my head off? A little bit? Yeah, your head is off. Alright, let's push it then. Is that any good? Yeah, you are in. Thank you, mate. I appreciate it. Right, final thoughts on the Fuji X100F. I really like it, but there are a few things that I'm not a big fan of. Um, you know, obviously you're working with a much smaller sensor. So I'm used to shoot with a Sony full frame A7R3 which when you compare the file to this, you know, obviously have an edge on it, more megapixel, more details, more everything. But I think that's not the purpose of this camera. I feel like this camera is made for, you know, just carrying it with you everywhere, no matter what situation it is. Because most of the time, look at the size of this bag. Look at the size of this. And I normally carry that everywhere I go. Obviously, there's a lot more into that bag than just the camera, but you know, having this sometimes it just means that's all you're taking. You can put it in your pocket. I can put it in my, you know, saddle bag on my motorbike. It's just, you know, the, you know what they say: the best camera is the one that you have with you. So, if I don't bring my bag, then I have no camera. And this is when this sort of cameras come into play. Um, I didn't go for the five just because I felt like it was a bit overkill. The whole purpose of this camera is to be, you know, not too expensive so that if it drops, it doesn't matter. If you put it in your bag, it doesn't matter. Already spending a thousand pounds for a camera, you know, makes you think twice before you, you know, bash it in your bag or leave it around. So I think this is used a perfect price point, which is, I think, six, five, six hundred pounds at the moment, depending on the conditions. But yeah, the only sort of like bad notes that I have is the power on and off button is in a position where because you got to use this um, sort of toggle every time and it's really close to it every time you use this most of the time I've done it three times in this video I kind of I turn off the camera 
and it gets pretty annoying because you're about to get a shot that you've been thinking about and you go and change the settings and you turn off the camera so that was annoying um, and yeah just getting used to the whole wheel concept that you can change ISO and shutter speed on this instead of having um, a wheel at the back or you know custom you do have custom functions you know you just got to use this camera for what it is and I feel like it's, it's actually cool to use the dial just because it pushes you to think a bit more and you know sort of think ahead of what you want to do my favorite feature on this is the film simulation just because again because of the purpose of this camera it just makes it so easy it's almost like the files have already been edited after you shot it so it's almost like you can already grab it post it on instagram send it to your friends after you shot it instead of going oh my gopro just shut off instead of having to you know go through all the images and edit them you just you know pick a film simulation that you like and you just run with it the whole day and obviously you can change it but yeah it just gives it that film look that you know you'll have to go in and edit yourself that was the review of the fuji x100f i'd be very interested to see if you have this camera what you think in the comments below you know what your favorite features are and yeah if you enjoy it or not that was it from me today that will be a new video every wednesday so make sure you subscribe thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one